And we're back, about to die from this fucking spider. Oops. Seriously, one heart and no idea how to kill this thing. No idea. No idea whatsoever. Oh, I'm dead. So, unfortunately, we have to use our fairy already. Luckily, I don't know what I did, but somehow I got him there. I think just because the healing animation made me able to attack him while he was up or something. <laughs> but the, basically, I was like, what did I do? I was screaming at the camera. I have no idea what I did. I need to know so I can kill him for later. I figured it out now. Uh, one of my friends has informed me that you're supposed to flip them using your sword like a spatula. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> So at this point, I'm trying to get these two fucking eyes to spin out and die, not realizing that there is a third one up above that I'm not seeing. And I need to get that one open first. But it's too high. So I take a look around, and I realize I probably got to get up there. this thing. It's a big box. So let's get up there. Not that way. That way. And push the box down. Link's probably really buffed by the end of all his games that he has to push all these big boxes around. If we push it into position here, we can stand on top of it, and then the third eye will be able to see us. Of course, you have to run up on top of it, which is kind of silly, but that's okay. There we go. And they're dizzy and gone. Now this is open. We get to open this treasure chest. It's a key! Oh my god! It's amazing. Okay. Let's head back now and I'll open that unlocked door as we get ever closer to the boss room. See, now we get to go up over here, where we were supposed to go earlier. Watch out for this asshole here. Run away! <clears throat> and now I remember the locked door is on the other side. So we run across. We can't open that locked door yet. Seriously, we can't open it, GB. You can't get through this thing. There's too many mushrooms. I think there's just rupees in there anyway. From what I remember. But, like an idiot, I tried. Again. Can't make it by, buddy. So then I realized, oh hey, there's another opening over here. This one has, and that was really stupid, but it's okay. I didn't crash. And look at that, I was right. It's just a bunch of rupees. Eleven to be exact. Yay! This stupid thing keeps popping up on my computer and won't leave me alone. Uh, now we gotta kill these things. Five of, five of the ugly plants hanging from the roof. We get to kill them with our beetle. Kind of annoying, actually, but that's okay. And I missed, like a fail. That glowing light still makes me laugh. Where is Link? Oh, there he is, under the light of Jesus. Oh. Anyway, we kill the last one. And oh, look, more balancing on a rope. Get that heart. 
Oh, never mind. I don't need it. Uh, balancing on ropes. Why do I fail so badly at this? But I didn't fall off this time, so that's good. We unlock this door and head through. Over to this corridor here. Oop, the door's locked. Can't get back. Get a heart. Get some seeds. Cut this down, cut that down, and oh lord, what is that? Is that a high dragon? <laughs> no. It's a thing where you gotta hit all three heads at the same time, otherwise they just respawn. Which is what I failed to do there. That's okay. And I failed to do there. And there. That's a really unorthodox way to do it, but it works. It was like a mutated tapeworm, to be honest. <laughs> Kind of disgusting, but that's okay. We're gonna run through here and uh, check out. Hey, there's a heart up there. Awesome. Let's get it with our beetle. A heart on a tree. Whoop. And now I'm healed up. We can go through this door. <clears throat> Now we get to do one more confusing thing before the boss. As we run up here, there's a guy who uh, has a death wish. Die! Right in the face. As we go over here. Get up, get up, there we go. There's another fucking spider in the way. But I can't really hurt him because he's over a hill, so I have to kill him using Beetle. Bye-bye! That is oddly satisfying to do. So now we gotta run across this. Yeah! Now we can hit this. What's that noise? People being loud outside. Ah, uh, which we can use as a shortcut to get back to the earlier part of the level. Yay. We don't want that right now. We want to move on to the boss. So I figure there's probably something through here. So we're gonna fly up here and check this out. Hmm. Ah. Oh. There's nothing here. But death. But over there, I notice there is a uh, vine or two. So we're gonna hit those. But no, it's too far away. We gotta get closer first. Actually, I probably could have made that, but that's okay. And so I realize, hey, wait, I'm kind of an idiot. There's just a rope bridge right here. I gotta figure out what to do first. Because there's no switches or anything to open that door. Go away, stupid thing. It's this fucking thing that wants me to update my computer. Can't you see I'm busy? Anyway, I decided to take a look in there again. Try to find some kind of switch to open this door. But I can't make it down. There's not enough room in there. Hmm. See, I don't bother crossing the uh, thing yet because the, the door over there is locked. So I know, obviously, well, I need the boss key. Oh, there we go. I made it down. Now I can get through here to get to the vine. Boom. Yeah, that's great. How do I get to that other vine? Hmm. Maybe he can make it. Come on, Beetle. And there we go. So now we figure, okay, fine, I guess I do gotta cross. I start to cross this thing. But then this asshole over here in front of me also starts crossing. And then this guy appears out of nowhere behind me. Well, this is great. You know, I gotta kill them by, uh, bouncing them. I can't use my sword when I'm on here. Hee hee hee. That's a bit cruel, but it's okay. I didn't fall off, so that's good. So there's the big boss door with an H on it for some reason. As we go over here, oh, here's something I can do. 
Our treasure trust. I got a red rupee. It's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. Fuck you. And then there's a heart. Yay. And here's the vines that I probably can't reach, but I decided to try anyway. Or not. We go over here instead. This uh, vine here. My uh, stamina is running out. Oh no! But that's okay. I make it up just in time. As we get to this uh, completely blank room. Oh, never mind. We got another vine that we can use here, or a rope, I mean. Yeah, I c almost completely missed. We want to go over here. Come on, stop swinging like a retard. Oop. Yep. And fail. That was major fail. Like, seriously. Completely missed. So let's try that again. This time without the fail. Yep. Get going and land. There we go. Doot, doot, doot. As we make our way over here, towards those vines that we cut down earlier. There! Now we can get over to the chest. Excellent. We're on our way. Jump! Ooh. It's a big, big treasure chest, which means it has the boss key in it. There we go! Awesome! I got an H! It's the golden carving! This strangely shaped gold structure is covered in mysterious patterns. And now this door is still not open. Boo. We better climb up here. Up we go. There we go. To here. That door never opens, I guess. Make our way down here. Now we are on our way to the boss room. Finally. Come on, get across. Oh, I fell again. God damn it. It's getting old watching me fall off of this these tight ropes. Okay, there we go. And we save at the bird statue because we don't have enough time to fight the boss in this YouTube video. So we will fight him in the next one.